Okay, we're looking today at this file came in. <coughs> nice wood on the back. It's labeled as a uh, Francesco Ruggeri, incorrectly spelled R-U-G-G-E-R-I, rather than the Italian Ruggeri. Got a homemade tailpiece and end pin. Fingerboard's coming off. Card has come off. Yeah, most likely uh, German made, uh, turn of the century, 1900. They've hollowed out the fingerboard and uh, neck a little bit to give it a better tone. That was probably done later, not original. Going by the, the looks of it, I would say it's probably German. Ruggier looks a little slightly smaller model. Yeah, just under 14 inches. Three hundred and fifty-five centimeters or millimeters. <coughs> Seven seven eighths, lower, two hundred millimeters. So let's see what we can uh, determine is the main problem besides this fingerboard. I think we can get this whole string off. Totally deteriorated, it's stuck in place. It's hardwood. Probably uh, looks like pear wood. <laughs> Sometimes that can be a real bugger to get the uh, old pegs and old strings out. They've been in there for a while. Doesn't want to go one way, it doesn't want to go the other way. And the old string is hanging it up. And just cutting the string wouldn't do anything. Because it would still be wrapped around the peg. This is a terrible uh, old string too, it's not the correct string. It looks like a piano wire. Thick steel. Now we can cut this end off because this isn't doing anything. And I'm going to get, get the rest of the string off. Maybe not. Let's see if we can get the peg out. Ah, there we go. That little bit was a real pain. So now we can get a look at the rest of the body. John Post is still in there. We'll get that out. See if it's viable. We got a fur ball in there. Ah, looks like the fingerboard nut is in there. Yeah, that's what was rolling around.
No, the sound host. This is not. Can you still be able to use that? Yep. Peg holes look like they're pretty oversized. X in there nice and no open seams. Interior looks good. Yeah. Neck block looks German. So the first thing we'll do is get a uh, amp rag. Clean off some of that dirt. Look at that dirt starting to come off. First thing we start with is a a little bit of water, a damp rag, loosen up all that old dirt that's accumulated over the years. And we'll, this will also reveal any other cracks or openings that we might have missed. Looks like it's pretty straightforward though. dirty up here where the hand is playing composition. Yeah, it's picking up more dirt. So, we'll get this fingerboard cleaned up as well. Put some water on it. Dissolve the glue and get that cleaned off. Throw this up here. Got some little chunks of rosin here. Probably been on there for 50 years or more. Little white dots of uh, paint or some other kind of detritus. Give a quick back a quick once over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cotton rag. Well, look at all that dirt. Looked like it wasn't dirty. Look at all that dirt. Looked like it wasn't dirty. A lot of elbow grease. Still more dirt. So we'll be doing this for about a half hour. Smooth the top. Yeah, we got it coming up. Black. Black dirt. This was made. A lot of homes were still using uh, gas fired lighting. The people smoke. So it's accumulated a lot of environmental dirt. <laughs> so, like I said, we'll be doing this half hour episode.